All right, hi everyone. Welcome back to another tutorial of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Imanshu, and we are continuing and very close to the end of our Lightning Web Components curriculum. Now that we have understood how notifications and navigations work with Lightning Web Components, I would like to take a specific tutorial just to understand what target configs are. Now, what are target configs? You have seen or you have noticed me, you know, creating these components and on the meta file defining these targets right here right so i expose the components and i define them as certain targets as in the component should be available for what kind of pages that is what essentially a target config means so what are target config types now each lightning web component folder must include a configuration file this configuration file is nothing but the meta.xml file right so you have the html you have the js and you have js hyphen meta.xml which is the configuration file this configuration file is the source of truth for the salesforce platform to understand where and all would this particular component be displayed or this would be displayed what kind of exposure does it have what is the api version of it right that is the data that is contained on the meta file that defines how this particular lwc component would behave and in what context under what pages or what you know utilities this configuration file defines the metadata values like i said including the targets and the design configuration all right so for those of you who know about aura components you create design attributes right the same can be done here as well all right the thing is with the meta configuration file you take your call as in what places should my component be accessible reachable or you know draggable and droppable all right so the first thing if you want your lwc to be available to you know app builder or experience builder at least one target must be defined and your is exposed tag should be set to true and that is what if you notice i have been doing whenever you create a new component it comes with this particular value it comes like this right so what do we do we basically go ahead and say true and then we basically add a target now under the targets folder you can have multiple targets allotted because one lightning component that you make might be usable let's say on a record page on a quick action on a flow on a utility bar it could be n number of use cases right so you might have one lwc being used across four different modules so you can define four different targets here okay the good thing about vs code is as soon as you type target and you start putting lightning you get pretty much all the options as in where and all your lightning web component can be used what we have been using mostly is the app page the home page and the record page but if you notice there are a lot of other stuff and you know take some time to understand what are these target config types all right so use is exposed tag so that you set it to true so that your lwc is available to the builders now what are builders builders are nothing but the app builder and the what do you call the app builder and where am i yeah this is right here so if i were to go to lightning app builder this is your app builder it allows you to handle your entire screen configuration by looking at what record pages are there and whether or not a particular lwc is available to be dropped or not so if i were to open the account record page and if i go ahead and try to edit it so i'm trying to edit a record page which is for the object account based on the name so this is your lightning app builder these are the pages that you have and right now you're on the account record page now you have some standard components and you have some custom components but when you have standard this is something that salesforce provides and these are something that we have written right and the reason why you only see 10 of them is because these 10 have been exposed to be accessible by a record page all right how do we verify that load a record if i go to load a record and op i open the meta file you will notice that this is accessible as a target in the record page and this is the reason why it shows up here for you to choose what about the toast notification that we did a while ago if i go to the toast which is toast display and i open this it is only available in the home page which is why in your app builder it is not accessible at all you cannot even search for it and you can you cannot do anything about it you cannot bring it the only way to bring it would be to bring in the right target and define it here save it deploy it and then be able to access it all right and the reason why you see it here is because it is exposed and it is marked that you know it should be a record page or a particular target is defined here that is the whole idea of this all right so targets support what kind of pages can the lwc be embedded into so the statement is a bit weird but basically the kind of pages that the lwc can be embedded into is what targets define that is what it means 
okay and now i am going to show you what are the possible and the important target configs available so that you know what to use and when to use and where to use if i go to the next slide and let me see if i can increase the font size the zoom let's do 125 maybe okay yeah so what do i have here we already know home page which is this one right here it enables the component to be used on a home page in lightning app builder same is with record pages you can put it in a record page in lightning app builder and just like that i'll just zoom it out again 200 so that you can take a screenshot of it okay just take a screenshot or probably print it or you know just save it somewhere locally with you the screenshot and just you know take a read just do a read that okay i have the app page the flow screen oh, okay that means i can you know put it in a screen flow all right i can use it in a, as a screen flow i can put it drop it in a app page i can drop it in a home page i can even configure a global action with lwc i can configure a quick action with lwc i can drop it to a account or a case or a task record page i can drop it into an inbox section for outlook and gmail integrations i can add it as a custom tab also i can add it in the utility bar what is a utility bar it's basically the let's go ahead and just open it in another tab so you might have seen a bar that shows up in the bottom right whenever you app open an app so if i go to let's say service console you will notice that it has a utility bar in the bottom so if i open the service tab go home or let's say i go to cases do i have it i don't have it here let's go to service console instead i think it might be there yeah, you see this utility bar. So you, you're seeing the history here. So similarly, you can even drop a LWC component here, more like a very quick widget. All right. So even that is possible. What else is possible in your communities, which is basically experience cloud. You can put it on a page layout. You can put it on a theme. You can put it on a LWR site also. You can put it as a default on the default home page. You can put it on the analytics dashboard also. So this is all that's possible. All you have to do is just enable it in your VS code by going to the meta file and just putting a target here. Can I put 10 targets here? Yes, I can put 10 targets here. Not a problem. All right. Great. Just take a screenshot of this if you want to save it somewhere locally uh, for your future reference or if, if you want to share it on LinkedIn, not a problem. But uh, just, you know, take a look and try out certain widgets wherein you choose. Like, you know, I want to drop it in a utility bar. Let's see if I'm able to configure it. Let's say I want to create a quick action or a global action. Let's see if I can define the target and use it. Just give that a try and it will it will kind of all make sense. All right. Great. That's all I wanted to cover as part of this particular tutorial in the next one. We'll talk about custom tabs and I'll just talk in it through an example of how you can actually, you know, use a lightning web component and create a tab out of it. All right. Great. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.